Hey guys, Spartan117GW here today, and we're going to be talking about this cool product that Olight sent me to do a, a video on. Uh, and it was actually kind of interesting of expanding the horizons of the channel. So, this is the Olight PL Pro Valkyrie. Uh, and uh, one of the goals of the channel was to kind of basically find more products that I could show you guys. That way you could find a variety of options, whether something is a little bit in the higher budget, mid-tier, or even entry level. So that way I can find products that work for basically the entire audience that I have, depending on whatever your budget is. Um, so this is a more affordable, but still high quality light. So it'd probably be in like the mid range uh, price range for you. Uh, but what's cool about this is that you could use this for your handgun and your rifle. So if you're the kind of guy who can only afford one light at one time, uh, this might be a good option for you. Um, but also as well, it's affordable enough that if you want to have one for each, you could do that too. So this is a cool light because it has, uh, just kind of running down the facts for you, has two different lighting modes, 300 lumens and a high power 1500 lumens, which basically equates to like 90 minutes runtime, 45 minutes runtime, about roughly about. Uh, TIR lens, uh, it's waterproof, has a nice uh, metal uh, body, and the biggest, biggest feature too you're gonna notice is this bad boy right here. Um, it's magnetic, that's how it charges. So it's basically got a battery on the inside and without changing batteries, you charge it. Um, now for some people out there that like having lights that they can just change the batteries out. So for you, that may be a plus or a minus, but I think that's a cool feature. I like seeing innovative ideas or different ideas come to the market just to see you know, what companies are doing to kind of be different from the crowd or what they're doing to and just you know stand out and kind of bring innovative ideas to the industry because you know everyone's done different versions of the same thing so it's cool to see that Olight is using this type of uh, interface for you both activating light if you're using a pressure switch and also charging it too so it's kind of cool this is how it works you see it sticks on there the magnet is actually pretty pretty good once it's on there it doesn't really come off unless you give it a nice good little tug so um, in a way it kind of reminds me of like when you're um, plugging in your uh, iMac or something like that, or uh, your your MacBook. Kind of, kind of like that, very similar in, in that regard. Um, it also comes installed with a Glock, um, little Picatinny rail segment that's meant for Glocks. Um, now it does come with a 1913 rail adapter piece and it comes with the tool to change it. But I haven't really had a problem putting it in any of my rifles, so I'm not 100% sure if it's fully necessary, but if you're gonna be putting on your real gun, not like an airsoft gun, then you're probably gonna wanna put that Picatinny adapter on there just to be on the safe side. If you're putting on an airsoft gun, probably don't need to worry. So I have an EMG salient uh, right here that I'm using as my demo. Um, and installing the light is super easy. That's actually one of the things I really like about it is that this little interface here, the, um, the this right here, it just goes right on there. It's very, very simple, easy to install. Sorry, just let me get this on there. Why am I, why am I messing this up? Look, Bear with me, because I just did it like 10 seconds ago. There we go. <laughs> okay. Clips on there, no problem. Let me let me redo that one more time just so I can show you guys how easy it is. I just I just didn't have it lined up properly. So as you see, here's the handgun. Let's see. Uh, just gotta line it up. There you go. Lined it up. And there it is. That's the hardest problem is just me lining it up. So forgive me for that. Um, as you can see. Looks really great on the pistol. Now, all the controls on the light are from these two buttons right here. They essentially do the same thing. You have momentary, right? So that's your momentary right there. You have constant on. You go ahead and turn it off, and you have strobe. Now, what's interesting too is how you activate the power modes. It's a double press will change what power mode you're on. So this is the 300 lumens, and that's the 1500. So that's kind of how you jump between the two. And once you have it set, the next time you do momentary, so right now it's on 300, so it's on 300 lumen. So if I'd use it as a momentary light, as you could see, it uses that in, in that functionality, and you can kind of switch between the two. The strobe is kind of interesting because activating the strobe requires like both hands. I'm not as familiar with all the different lighting techniques out there, but you can technically activate it with your thumb and your pointer finger right here. Although um, for me, for 
when it comes to using handguns, momentary only is kind of like the way to go, especially for combat lights. Um, really quick, we're going to throw it on a rifle so you can see what it looks like on the rifle and how I run it, but it's not the only way that you can run it. So, super easy to take off. I'm going to be mounting it to the 12 o'clock position. So I just slide it into place, close the clamp, there we go. There it is, it's on, super easy. And this rifle was set up beforehand for like a zoom cam. So it actually has the perfect amount of rail space for the light itself. And the, the grip position with the BCM CAG is also perfect. Um, but as you can see here, I have it set up where the light is at 12 o'clock position where I could use it as an ambient extra light for either side. Um, using my thumb to activate the momentary or constant feature, but momentary is typically what I use, um, without the use of the pressure switch. And if I was running this without a laser or PEC device or, or Apatone or whatever, what have you, D-ball, on the top, this is how I would run it. Because most airsoft games or whatnot. Weapon mad light will get you by. Not everyone's running lasers, and even fewer people are running nods. If you do want to run an actual laser device or anything like the, that on this gun, that's kind of where the pressure switch is going to come into play. So, let me just grab the pressure switch for you. It has the same kind of type of magnet on here, although the, the shape and design is a little bit different, um, but it comes with a pressure switch and it comes with a little housing here for Picatinny on the pressure switch. So normally I would use this setup for, like I was saying, if I was running a laser device on top and it was like, a, whether it's a quad rail or a different type of rail system setup, although this one's kind of more so set up for like a quad rail. For example, if I'm running the Mark 18 and running like the PEC on top, the light would be on the far side and I'd be running the pressure switch right here. Um, just so you guys get an idea, that is pretty much how easy it is to attach the light. Um, you know, and if for some reason it like gets snagged or comes off, it's super easy to pull, um, um, put back on, but it's, it's actually got a good amount of pull on it before it comes off and it finds its way home pretty naturally so if it does get jostled it'll just go right back home um, you would use the included zip ties and basically zip tie them into the rail system and just to kind of show you guys the placement of this pressure switch is not accurate at all to how i would normally have it but i just want to show you guys that it goes on there come on there you go Okay, so given like you would have it zip tied normally or whatever, uh, this is just to give you an idea. And the pressure switch, by pressing it, does your constant on, pressing and holding, does your momentary. So those are basically your key functions using the pressure switch with that. And like I said, if you're gonna run the pressure switch right here, you're gonna wanna run the light over here, have whatever device that's on top in the place where this light is right now. So this isn't how I would normally run it, it's just how it's, set up just for demonstration purposes but it's cool that they give you that option out of the box again i think the uh, magnet feature is really cool i kind of wish they gave you a cap like this that didn't have the pressure switch on there so that if you're not using any of the you know if this with that then you can cover it now it might not look as pretty on like a pistol but at least on a rifle it's like you're just kind of looking at it. So I kind of wish there was a cover there. That's like one of the uh, only negatives I have when looking at it, but um, yeah, it's still pretty simple. Also, um, this little, it's hard to see, but there's like a little uh, LED or whatever right here. So if the light's um, battery starts to go down, this little light will start blinking and whatnot. So that kind of gives you an idea. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, you can charge it like this. So this is kind of cool because if you have like a external battery pack in the field, you can charge it with this in the place of changing the CR123 batteries on the light. Um, but so overall, the uh, PL Pro, the Valkyrie, is pretty cool light. Um, it fits right there in the mid-range budget for most of you guys. And actually, if if you happen to be watching this video today or tomorrow, just depends when I upload this, um, May 24th, 2019, there's a huge flash sale. So, which could be today, depending if I upload the video on that day. Um, and you can actually get some really, really big discounts on the lights, where they're like 30 bucks below map. So map is like usually at the 120, 125 range, uh, but they're going on sale for like 90 bucks. So if you're looking for an affordable light that has some cool, unique features, but still really good quality and has a 
you know a bunch of the you know pretty 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 good features that you're looking for then the PL Pro Valkyrie might be the light for you so uh, and they have a bunch of other options and a bunch of other deals and I'll have all that stuff in the description including an affiliate link uh, affiliate link so if you guys are interested in the Olight PL Pro or any of the other stuff that you want go ahead and check them out uh, but yeah I'll be doing some more comparisons with different weapon man lights that I've come across over the years in the future uh, but this one's definitely an interesting one and pretty glad that Olight hit me up to check this out because it's a cool option I think you guys deserve to check it out because it might be something that works for you so thank you guys for watching thanks to Olight for also helping out with this video and I'll see you guys next time